Hello and welcome back to 200, 200 Hindsight. I'm Lawful Evil and we're going to be looking at another one of my replays. This is game two for the season. I'm playing against Louis Edu. Louis Edu. Louis. Uh, Louis Sedu, Louis Sedu. Uh, I don't know. Okay, so in the last replay, um, one of my key failures early on was scouting. This time, I've actually remembered to do it. Um, with any luck, it'll give me something useful. I've also decided to just go uh, pool first and uh, expand afterwards. It looks like uh, Lewis is going to take uh, a scout as well. Um, unfortunately, we missed each other on the uh, on the way. And uh, you know, might as well take advantage of Terran and uh, harass their uh, builders a little bit. So I'm totally distracted by my scout, and I was totally letting my macro slide. I'm building up a pile of money. I don't have much going on. I think maybe if I'd successfully uh, paid attention to what was going on, I may have been able to crush him. I've stopped his barracks at this point, and he's walling in with supply depots. Still hasn't got his barracks going yet. Uh, I guess he's not going to finish his barracks. Hard to say. I'm making some drones, I'm grabbing some gas. I saw the supply depot wall go up, so I am going to go Banes uh, just so I can bust it easily. Um, grabbing my expo and uh, yeah, let's open the production tab. Maybe we'll throw up the old nameplate there. Make it look professional and all that. I'm trying to hold off on my uh, baneling nest until I can get his scout out of my base. Fortunately for me, Lewis is floating just as much uh, minerals and gas as I am. There we go, we got the baneling nest down. He's got a reaper in the way, and I've got nothing to deal with it. In preparation for baneling busting, I've started building some uh, lings, but of course I haven't picked up the uh, metabolic boost yet. Um, because I sat around and forgot to get gas early on, and I got too distracted by scouting. I've seen his expo go down. Here comes the Reaper. The Reaper Man. He is going to chase him down. Well, it looks like Lewis just decided to let him die. I don't know what to tell you there. I'm picking up a lot more lings, apparently. Uh, I said, uh, the hell with it. I'm not going to bother to drone up. Um, and just like last game, my main hatch is sitting at 11. My expo has got nothing. And um, not even using the larva I've got there, barely. I've got a bunch of guys coming in. Unfortunately, he's got a widow mine. And uh, well, you know, his widow mine killed all three of them, but he only got one kill. Here come the beans. I got more lings down doing a rundown here. Successful with this 
Alien there. I was kind of hoping that was going to supply block him, but uh, I was wrong. But I pretty well cripple his production here. Down to eight SCVs. I have now decided to drone up, build a couple extra teams. Pardon me. I dropped my roach one because I'm concerned about a uh, counterattack by him that I'm not going to be able to handle. Looks like they're probably going to get wiped out by the widow mine. Except for one little ling. Here's the counterattack I was concerned about. He's got nothing except for his uh, mule call down. Up oh, two SCVs now. Clearly it's going to be a fair fight. I've finally gotten saturated. Let's hope I can make some roaches fast enough to uh, deal with this. I don't know what he's waiting for. It's not going to get any juicier. I see the wooden mine and try and get us around to kill it. Quick, but uh, I fail. And there come the roaches. Better late than never. Got a couple more marines coming in, and he turns them around. We got nobody, and he's up to four SCVs. Aside from these four, he's queued to stand on his ramp. Top notch, top notch. There we go. Oh, there goes the queen. My drone is going to get a kill here. It's going to be wonderful. Yes, there it is. Okay, so. How are we doing on saturation? Expo's not too bad. My main is still down at 10. My gas geysers are half utilized, and these ones weren't even taken. So I need to make a lot more drones. I've got uh, Changeling heading down to check out what he's up to. At this point, I figured he was pretty crippled. But he has managed to uh, work his way back at least in terms of getting some uh, workers going. He's got 12 already. He's got his wall back up, and he's got a bunker full of Marines. And he's going to use his SCV to kill my changeling. on the way now. Still one worker short there. At least uh, those gas geysers are functional. He's mostly making marines. I think he's got a uh, medevac coming. Maybe he's going to try and uh, flip a drop around the side here. Where's this guy going? You know, I don't recall him even doing anything. He's moving his marines over to the side, thinking I'm going to swoop in with the mutas. 
I'm actually going around to check for hidden expos. I figured he had left the game, so he must have a hidden expo. But he didn't. I'm, of course, supply blocked. I dropped a couple extra hatches because I was floating a ton of money. Still am. Because it hasn't really helped. I swoop the mooters over here, check some other expos. Maybe this guy's going to get a shot. No. Totally missed it. And what's his plan? He's finally getting stim and combat shield. Taking some gas geysers, still making guys, but not really uh, going anywhere here. He's desperately trying to find my mutas. And my changelings are having trouble because his ramp is blocked. But I can see at least he doesn't have a third. And I see his medevac taking off. And I'm able to move my mutas in and shoot down the full medevac. And that really, I think, turned the tide. That was a lot of marines that you really couldn't afford to lose. You know, engaging stim marines probably isn't smart, but I think I had enough mutas there. We uh, outgunned them easy. So here I'm just going to try and fly around, poke a little bit, and stay out of the way of his marines. I haven't seen any other medevacs, and pretty quickly I discover that his marines aren't healing. And I'm able to uh, deal with it. I've got uh, a ground army standing here in the side to uh, swoop in when ready. But for now, uh, I'm having fun with the mutas, and... Uh, tactic I love doing, and I probably do it more than I should, is uh, trying to supply block my opponent. Always attacking the supply depots in an effort to uh, stop their production. Usually by the time I get far enough into their base that I could possibly have stopped their production by supply depots, I've killed so many of their workers that it, uh, it doesn't matter. Here's another case. You know, I killed a bunch of supply depots, but now I've helped him free up some supply. His marines are in the red, just over and shaking him. So, easy takedown here. He's got a couple extra marines hiding around the corner. Don't know what his plan was, but... I think he lost track of them. And that's it. GG. So. What did I do right? What did I... Well, barely anything I did right. What did I do wrong? I sent guys over here to make a new base. I saw the warning that they got attacked. I knew there was a good chance this was sitting there. And I never dealt with it. You know, it took out a bunch of my guys. It's got, I guess it's only got one kill. It certainly prevented the hatch from going down. And I had queued up somebody to build a gas geyser there, and that didn't happen. Um, I needed a couple of extra queens on my uh, hatches so I could... Uh, Get the larva injects going, and even then I wasn't doing the larva injects with the queens I had. As at 200, 145, they should be down near the nothing. Particularly with two queens servicing five hatches. It's just floppy. I'm 
floating a ton of money. You know, part of that was supposed to go into this building, but even then I'd still be floating 1700 Um, I really, yeah, I should have made, uh, some more stuff. Another base or two. Uh, get some more gas going. And make some units that utilize the ratio. You know, if I had 500 gas and I was making roaches, 25 gas, 75 minerals, that would use up pretty much all my minerals, you know, leaving me just enough for another hatch. So, you know, the, the mutas were nice and all. Um, I think I probably overcommitted on the mutas. I needed to get more gas going so that I could have another 20 roaches. I think if I walked up here with 20 roaches, the game would have ended sooner. You know, I'm making 13 mutas right now. That's 1300 here. I could have made you know, 20, 25 hydras. Um, and perhaps dealt with things more efficiently. Hydras have an awesome rate of fire. And I saw that he was going into liberators. He used a couple to try and shoot down my hyd uh, mutas. But I had nothing back home to deal with them. I didn't even have a couple of random spores around the perimeter. And uh, if he chose to, moving a, a liberator in, he could have decimated my supply. I had all my overlords just sitting around, as well as wiping out just a ton of drones. And so I was really vulnerable to that, and I'm just lucky he didn't decide to do that. I think once it's clear that I see starports, I really need to do some things defensively. Um, you know, it used to be you could just put a spore crawler in your mineral line to fend off banshees. But now you can have a liberator sit way over here and wipe out four or five mineral patches worth of drones. And your only chance is really to put the spore crawlers right on the edge, as far out as you can get them, in the hopes that the Liberator can't quite get close enough. Um, once I had destroyed several of his big groups of Marines, or at least gotten them down into the red, I should have moved in with intact with these as well. Um, yeah, you know, regardless of the fact that there should have been another 20 roaches with them. Um, I didn't upgrade anything. You know, maybe sacrifice a roach or two, sacrifice a muta to grab flyer attacks. I mean, I had 13 in production plus 15 on the board. That was 28 mutas. 27 mutas plus a plus one attack is significantly better than 28 mutas. Um, so, I, I tried to deal with the fact that I was falling behind by going with these three macro hatches, um, but even then it didn't, didn't help me, um, because of the units I was choosing were so gas heavy, I wasn't still able to spend my minerals. Now if these queens had done all their injects, I've got six injects across these queens at what, three, four larvae and inject. That's 25 50 zerglings. Um, you know, that's whatever that works out to. Another thousand minerals or something I could have spent. Um, now, I did get the roach movement, but my roaches only ever moved from the front door to halfway across the map. Um, so, you know, that, that wasn't the most economical upgrade. Um, another thing that would help would be taking Burrow. That's 
A good way to buy time when the Liberators come and seize you up. Quickly burrow. It gives you a minute to go and deal with the Liberator. And uh, then you can unburrow and get your guys back to work. Um, you know, at the loading screen, Lewis EDU was listed as gold, uh, and I was listed as bronze. It's not clear that he was really gold. Um, he didn't react well to a lot of stuff. I mean, he did produce liberators to fight mutas and had marines to fight mutas, but he scouted the spire early on while it was still building. He should have had plenty of response to that. You know, Thor back up the liberator probably would have taken out my mutas easy. On the upside, following this match, I got promoted to silver. Woo! Moving up the ranks. Uh, so, I got placed into bronze. I did one game in bronze, and after my second game in bronze, I got bumped to silver. So, um, I'm not sure, or sure why it placed me in bronze, if I was that close to the silver boundary, but it is what it is. Um... That's all for today. Keep on learning, and uh, we'll see if we can get to 200-200 one of these games.